Let's get on, I think, the Four album. I think that's next. Four was a great album. Okay? I think it was... I know it didn't sell a lot originally, but I think it's a better comeback. I don't know. Let me say this. How am I going to articulate this? I think Beyonce starts off strong with Dangerously in Love and B-Day. Okay? For a solo girl going to from a from a girl going from a group, a very popular group, to going solo, she does a great job at crafting her own original sound from the group. Beyonce's solo music doesn't sound like Destiny's Child. It sounds, you know, you still hear the essence of Beyonce, but it doesn't sound like their music. So I think she kind of stumbled. A little bit with I Am Sasha Fierce with her junior album, but I think her freshman and sophomore bodies of work are solid overall, solid bodies of work. I think she makes a comeback with four in 2011. I really didn't like Love on Top. I think she sonically or vocally kills it. Beyonce does an amazing job singing Love on Top. It's a song that is for her voice. She does really, really good. Um, You know, I have a cousin who says four is where Beyonce really shines vocally. And I have to agree because she does do some good singing on this. And I really like a lot of the production on four better because I like R&B Beyonce. I like when she does some pop, but I really like her when she is on some slow down music. I really do. I think her voice is able to shine more. And um, and I just think, you know, I don't want her always with ballads, but she just is a good R&B artist, okay? For those who say I'm just a big hater, I think Beyonce does R&B music well. I happily crown her queen of R&B, and we need her because Summer Walker and SZA and any of those other chicks, the only person vocally who I really see it for, who I really think um, could, like, try to even... Comfort Beyonce is Ari Lennox. Now, we know it should be Chloe, but Beyonce got her in a jar. So, you know, watch that video for me to talk more about that. But Beyonce is our queen of R&B, rightfully so. She does R&B well. She does pop okay. So, and she does rap okay, you know? I don't, she's a, okay. She does, she does a little rap singing all right, but she really shines when she's our R&B girl. Um... Party with Andre 3000, a good song, kind of an old school kickback feel. School and Life, great song. Countdown, great song. Lovely. Love, I really like that song. She does really great with Countdown. I think lyrically it's there. You know, I like that you really have to like listen to the lyrics. I Miss You, amazing vocal performance by her. Frank Ocean, he just talked in the beginning, but... Um, I miss she was, Beyonce really, really shines. And that production, that slow, nice production that's not too overly mixed and mastered and engineered does really good for her, okay? I miss you, shit on whatever love song she came out with before. What's that love song? Scared of Lonely? I miss you, shit song, Scared of Lonely. I miss you, shit song, Break It, Broken Hearted Girl. Like, I really like that song by her. She does a very good job. Dance for You. It's a nice little freaky, I'm a, you know, dance for my man song. It, it serves its purpose. Um, I think it's a nice song. I Care. It's okay. You know, I think it's, I, I care. How do I, it's just, I think out of a 10, it's a six. It's above average. Um, decent production. Decent. I mean, the lyrics are okay. I just, I don't know. I wish it just brought more. I, I want storytelling. And that's what's missing from music. And you're not going to argue with me about this. I'm not going to argue with y'all about storytelling. I told you guys. I gave examples. And two of them were, um, you know what? No. One was from YNW Melly, the song City Girls. The other was from Don Tolliver. The song, What to Do, on the Jack Boys EP. 
Um, I think those are two songs where you really hear some storytelling going on. And I really like that. Um, storytelling is missing from music. I feel like I care, you know, I want more, I want to, I want Shakespeare, but music, like tell me a story from beginning to end, what happened? So I think it's just okay, but I think it could use development. I don't, lyrically, it could use development. Say what the fuck you want. Rather die young. No, I, it's something that I really can't get into. One plus one is okay. Um, you know, it's a nice song if you're in that slow emotional mood. I like the production more than the production and the vocals are there. But do I do I care about the lyrics? I'm gonna let it slide. One plus one's a good song. Okay. End of time, great song. I like the production. You know I hate Run the World, okay? Y'all know. That's the one of the first things I dragged her about in the last video. Best thing I never had. This is what I'm talking about. One of my favorite fucking songs on four. Best thing I never had is talking about some real shit. Like, this is what I talk about. I think best thing I never had, it feels like an authentic Beyonce record. It feels like Beyonce is real. I feel like she is really feeling it. The vocal performance, the lyrics, the production. Best I ever had is what I'm talking about. That shit hits. Beyonce came through. Uh, okay? See, I'm just, I'm, y'all not going to say I hate Beyonce. I'm just saying I know music when I fuck I hear it. And I know lyrics. I'm a writer. I'm going to listen to your lyrics. Best thing I never had, Beyonce shitting on them lyrically. Because that song is really talking about some shit that people can really relate to. Because as women, sometimes you be thinking that you want something and it's just like, girl, you getting saved. Run from that shit. Good fucking song. One of the best hits. Start over. Not feeling it. Sonically, I wasn't feeling it. I was here is just okay. Again, vocally, the album serves, you know, it serves. But some of the songs, I just, they, I don't know. They're just, they're not coming hard enough for me. I was here and start over. I like I was here better than start over, but two songs that I could go without listening to ever again. I'm just saying, y'all are going to have to, you know, let me feel however the fuck I want to feel. Okay. Um.